Hi, this is Eric. I'm going to talk about over-communication. Um, over-communication is incredibly important, especially in this day and age. I was reading a uh, Seth Godin book a few weeks ago, and he was talking about how there's been this race to the bottom for um, oversimplification. You know, make your email as short as possible. Make your text as short as possible. Do everything in the, the minimum that you possibly can and while the theory is it's I get it I get the theory behind it but what ends up happening is people write these messages that are so basic you lose a lot of just like basic intention right so one of the things that I value is over communication no, I get it. Sometimes writing a text message that's too long could be a little overwhelming because it's just you're dealing with a small screen and sometimes it's better for email. Um, but if your message takes more than a sentence or two, then write something a little bit longer. And the thing is, is that if someone is not going to read your message when you actually need to say more because you need to express an intention or a purpose behind what you're saying, or there's just there's just more uh, in detail. There are people that literally will not look at a message if there's too much. And I've met people, for instance, where you give them a call, right? You you, you actually need to figure something out on the phone because it's going to take more than a minute or two by texting, and a, and a conversation is just going to make it go much quicker. And they reply with a text, "Hey, what's up? Just text me." And it's not really appropriate to text the person about that. So then you do a long text message and, oh, no surprise, it's too long for them. So, you know, there's there's one of the MOs I live by is, you know, set the conditions, see who shows up to the party. Communication is incredibly important. It's extremely important to be able to express yourself fully and not have to hold back because you're afraid of overwhelming someone. And quite frankly, if someone is not going to be able to deal with a full communication, which, by the way, is is only a relatively new thing. I mean, you used to just pick up the phone and talk things out with people. Um, those are not going to be the people that are going to be your partners in life. You know, if you're if you're managing a business and you need to pick up the phone to, to, to work something out, and they only want to text, and then your text is too long, your email is too long. Fuck them, really. Like, it's it's not workable. So, long story short, don't be afraid of leaving someone overwhelmed. Look, I get it. Some people want an email over a text. I think that's completely valid and appropriate. But it does come to a point where you draw the line and say, hey, look, I'm not going to start suppressing my communication in order to appease people's comfort. And, you know, the, the people I work with in business, the vast majority of them, actually pretty much every one of them that I respect and admire, if you want to give them a call, they'll pick up the phone. And they get that a five-minute conversation out of their day is going to be much more effective than texting things you know, for nine hours over the course of like four days to deal with the exact same fucking thing that you could have dealt with in five minutes. So I'm sure a lot of you have experienced this. And if people create unnecessary drama or just emotional bullshit about how long your email is or don't text me this much, again, the texting this much I do get because you can send it by email. But for every person I know where they just have that complaint because it really is just a request, I, I, I need this by email. There's a lot more people, especially in what's more my generation. It's not it's not people that are that are, you know, 40, 50 plus. It's really my generation um, that really have issues with communication. So uh, over communicate. Make sure you say what you need, you need, what you mean. Make sure you express intention. If you, even if you think it's implied, often saying it makes a difference. All right. Hope you guys have a good one. Bye.